Hello everyone. I'm Ruo Yao Ma. Come from Guildhall at SMU Cohort 16. Today I will talk about how to make a HUD use ScaleForm and UDK version May 2011. As you can see on the screen, we will have a health bar, ammo bar, and a weapon bar. Before we start, I assume you already know how to set up a Flash project and an Unreal scripting project in Visual Studio. If you don't, go ahead and check out this channel. We have a lot of video about how to do these things. OK, let's get started. This is the setting I recommended, and this is a blend project. First, we need a health bar. There will be a title, a value, and a health bar itself, or maybe a background. That's it. Let's create them. First, uh, let's draw a box. And convert it to a symbol. Okay. Use graphic. Okay. And then make a movie clip. Name it. Okay. Use it as a background. This will be the background of our hut. Then create the the really health bar. Name it. Drag in the background. Put it in center. And put it in our main scenes. And we can add it here. It's a good habit to name every layer you created. Let's make a new layer. Yeah, don't forget to give the name so we can we can refer to it later in the code. Okay. Now create a text. Um, first is the title, house. Let's use white. Okay. <coughs> and also, don't forget to give it a name. Let's call it title. And make sure it's uh, embedded. The font, we need to embed it. Or it will be just uh, broken in, in Unreal. And let's copy it and made another text. This will be 100%. This will be our actual life. OK. And also give a name, value. And make sure every text you use is dynamic text. So you can change it later. And name this layer text. Another layer. This is for the health bar, the actual bar. Let's lock other layers. Use a red one. Okay. Adjust the position. And convert it to a symbol. Let's call it a health bar. Okay, here we have it. Okay, don't forget, give a name. Okay, let's check if everything has a name. Yes, title. Okay, and background. Now, give uh, some transparency. Make it pretty, and yeah, we have a health bar. Then let's create the ammo bar. The ammo bar is almost the same, so we can duplicate from the health bar. So open it, change the title.
and change the value. Now we need a new bar for the ammo. And to save the time, I already made one. It's nothing hard, it's just time consuming. So I prepare it, just like, like you see. Increase one ammo by each frame and make whatever frame you want to make. You will able to refer into it later in the code. And here we need a action script a little bit, just to stop. Just tell the Flash movie, don't play. Okay. Now we have the ammo bar. Let's put it into the scenes and make it alignment. And we're ready to test. Oh wait, I forgot to give a name to the ammo bar. Let's do it now. Now let's save and test. I assume you already have this uh, test player of GFX for UDK. Okay, let's just click it. It will publish and test for you. Okay, it totally works. Now let's make the weapon bar. I also prepared one for you. It's actually simpler than the ammo one. Here is how it's made. So you have a background, which is the same thing as our previous one. You have three frame weapon pictures. You can make as much as you want. And a script, just a stop. And that makes a weapon bar. And of course, don't forget to give a name for every bar. And then test it. Works. So we finished the process to creating all the assets. Now let's do some code. 